beloved. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen on becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings. Weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. I also offer personal readings on my Patreon. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is listed down in my description box below to join or you can join by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it and it will lead you to my website as well where you can sign up and join. Um, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? All right? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? God, okay? We have the Four of Wands here. Interesting. With this Four of Wands energy, it's like what I'm seeing is like I see four people gathered here, right? It could be four or more people here. I see people gathered here, all right? I feel like they gathered for one agenda, all right? There's one specific thing that is Enabling all these people to be in one place, all right? We have the Ace of Cups here. I feel like these people here, as they're together like this, there is something on my face, y'all. As they're together like this, I feel like they're discussing matters that have to do with some form of significance here. These are people who refer to themselves as your family, all right? These are people who refer to themselves as your friends. So take that how it resonates. It could be friends, family, or colleagues here. These people that are gathered, take it how it resonates for your reality, your world, all right? So these two people are gathered here discussing matters that have to do with something significant here. Something that is impacting every single one of them. Hence, they're gathered. And I'm getting that it's unlikely that these people are in one place. It's like, you would never think of these two, these, um, I said two. You'd never think of all these uh, people in one sitting. Four plus here. Could even be two people here. Take it how it resonates, but... There are people gathered, okay? And it's like you would never picture these two people in one place. I keep saying two. You would never picture these uh, amounts of people or these people here in one place. Let 
step in here. Look at that. We got the Ten of Wands reversed to the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords here. It's like what is being discussed is something that is hindering these people. Like these people are discussing something that they want to do together. And whatever they want to do together is meant to lift some form of a burden from them because they're facing something here. It's like I feel like these people are guilty for something, right? These are people that are guilty. They feel guilty. They are guilty. They all are in cahoots with one another. And so to lift this guilt, they feel like they have to get you out of the way. That's what's going on here. To lift some form of guilt from themselves, they're discussing a way forward that is going to get them that outcome. And it has to do with you, all right? And with this Ace of Swords here, this is an ongoing thing that is being communicated back and forth between these two people. It's like everybody feels like you are somewhat a burden or you are causing a burden. Either your truth is causing a burden, your life somehow, all right? They want to have a certain way with your life. They want to have certain control over your identity. So to do that, they're trying to plot and plan and scheme here. And so they want to get rid of you somehow. These are people that are literally planning some form of murder. These are people that want to take your life, all right? They want to take your lost breath here. Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles here. This has been planned for a long time. Like, this whole thing, it's a, it has been an ongoing plan. It has been ongoing, like, this discussion, this whole saga here. Them grouping up and being in cahoots has been something that has been going on for quite some time. I'm getting like years or five months plus or years. So, look at that. We have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is like... This is big here. Ace of Cups, Ace of uh, Swords, Ace of Pentacles. These people are targeting you in a big way because planning uh, someone's death and investing time into it, investing their energy into it, everybody's discussing a way forward that they see fit. Everybody's throwing around opinions about, okay, we can do it like this and like that. Mm. This is like, I feel like this is serious here. These people are taking this seriously and they're doing it and they mean it. Hmm. Look at that, we got the div. We got the star. We got the four of cubs. Okay, good. So I'm seeing God purposely allowing these people to think that all of this is going to be a success in your reality. I see God throwing out a certain specific illusion or specific illusions to fool these people into preparing your death, but having no idea that it's not going to be a success with the Four of Cups. It's going to be a straight failure. And not only that, this could also result in someone getting um, convicted here, being a convicted felon, all right? Somebody losing something of theirs that they were building upon because of these actions. It's like everybody has something to lose, and they know that. They're just hoping that this is all figured out because it's all of them against you. All of these people in cahoots against one person. So they're like, nah, there's no way that this is not going to work. There's no way that this person will see this coming. Because what I'm also getting here is that all of these people are trying to, like they're portraying a certain act here. They're trying to portray a certain image so that you perceive them a certain way. They're trying to shift your perspective to be in trust of them so that you don't see that these are the enemy. You don't see that 
These are people that are actually planning your demise. But at the end of the day, I feel like God has always had this matter in his hands. Because what is happening here, I feel like you're going to not only get away from these people, you're going to heal from all of this. And they're going to watch you prosper in your life. They're going to watch you be okay. And they're going to watch you do things that they could never do in their reality. All right? Because these are evil, sick, twisted people here that have their own agendas of life. And they want to implement them in your reality. And they're not about to play God in your life. All right? Not when you already serve a living, true, breathing God. Okay? It's really disgusting. This is really disgusting here. But it's not going to work. At the end of the day, you're going to evolve and heal and transform from all of this. No matter how much time and resources and energy and talk and opportunities and all of these things that they, they've invested in, it's, it's the wrong decision that they made to come for you like this to begin with. They got to watch it crumble. Like you targeted, you being targeted here, we have the Six of Wands. You literally being targeted. We have Leo energy, we have Sagittarius, Gemini energy, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, we have Taurus energy. It's like you being targeted here, beloved. You being targeted, but God is saying, fear not. Don't ever take upon the burden of what other people do into your heart, into your mind. Don't allow other people's filthy spirits, all right, fake halos to imprison you in your spirit. If another person is in the energy of wanting to do, to do bad to another, that person that wants to do bad to another, they got to address their sick, twisted, evil, demented self before they want to step into the energy of the person they're trying to put in that state of being. Because for that to happen, for someone to even, it's like all of these people here, it just shows that they ain't right. It just shows that something about them is just, it's curse based. They're unable to do good, be good. Planning a whole murder here, planning someone's demise. It's like, to what end? Then they have to now all live with it. They, they have this agenda like now we all in cahoots. We living with it. We know what we did to this person. No one will ever know. Yeah, now we can all be get rid of this burden, this guilt. Every word that was spoken, every deed that was an action that was taken is going to be justified here. It's going to be accounted for. When you win in the end, when none of this is effective in the end, when they have to look at you, still be who you are in the end, we will see who has the lost love. We will see who's the great planner when God puts you in a position to prosper, regardless of what these people are trying to do to you. You got the Knight of Cups here. We got the page of wands. At the end of the day, there's going to come a point in all of this where these people now, they have to face themselves. It's no longer now trying to do everything behind closed doors and sweep everything under the rug. Now it's going to, it's going to come a point in time where they have to face this. And it got nothing to do with you. It really doesn't. They gotta face the fact that they come, they're trying to come up against somebody who is good. Somebody who is not a part of their whole little agenda here of life. And they're trying to, like, yo, I feel like these people are gonna pay for even having these ideas, for even thinking that this is possible. We got the Seven of Swords. These people are expecting you to be blind. Like, 
They expect you to not see that it's them plotting and planning against you. They expect you to not realize that it's them trying to put you in a specific position. They expect you to just be blind to all of this. They expect you to take their word, take their deed and actions as like, oh, I can trust these people, which tells me that you're being manipulated here as we speak, either by these people's words or actions, all right? All of a sudden, they acting good towards you or trying to be good to you when they were never in that energy to begin with. It's to fool you into believing something about them that isn't true, having a certain perspective of them so that you don't see this coming, but you already will. You already know what's up. These people ain't got nothing on you here, man. It's sick, this is all sick. Sick stuff, all right? And they all have this thing that, okay, once we do this, we're gonna get rid of the body. We're gonna, like, yo, we're gonna do this and this, like that. Everybody has a, everybody has brought forth an opinion about how they want to go through with this. Everybody has contributed their own words to this plan, which is like everybody here is to blame for what's gonna happen to them. Because when this backfires here and however way it does, either the justice system might get involved. Either you are going to be put in a position to call them out and they will never hide or be able to hide their shame, their guilt, their sickness. They'll be seen for who they are. This is like some cursed behavior. Somebody that is unable to be good. Somebody that is willing to take a, a, another person's life and, and steal their breath away and play God in their life in this way. Like, you're being heavily manipulated right now. These people are heavily trying to manipulate you of the magician to the devil. You gotta be careful because these people, you know, for most of you, they aren't in your energy. They're trying to get in your energy. And how they're trying to do it is they're trying to come off as good to you. Or they can be of good to you. You can trust them. You don't have to look at them as the enemy. But they are, though. They just don't want you to look at them like that because they're trying to end you. All right? They're trying to put an end to you. And they're trying to fool you before that happens. So that when it happens, you're blindsided. So that when, you, when it happens, you're caught off guard. You don't see it. It just, it just hits. It just happens. However way these sick, twisted, demented, evil people are planning it. It's like all of these people in cahoots going against one person here. Why? It just shows there's so much glory to your name. It just shows that there is purpose in your identity. And it just shows that you are not getting up every day for no reason. God is using you as a vessel to reveal the true devil within every one of these people. The devil that they try and hide and play hide and seek with. That's ruling and controlling them in actual reality. Trying to pretend. Trying to lie. Trying to come up with such a way. For who? For what? It doesn't change the fact that they're sick. And they're not right in the mind. And their heart is not even pure. Their heart is not even functioning in a good way. You're going to be okay, beloved. You don't have to worry about who's doing what. You just need to be aware. Don't allow yourself to be manipulated with words or actions by people who all of a sudden are changing their behavior and they, they tone. Now it's this, now it's that. Oh, since when? Since when? Don't allow yourself to, to fall into any foolery. You are not a fool. Let them be in the circus alone. And let them play these games alone too. I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. So those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly signed readings, weekly signed readings for $10 per month, all right, based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. I also offer personal readings on my Patreon. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is listed down in my description box below to those who are keen on becoming a member 
or you can join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen, type it via Google, search it, and it'll also lead you to my website where you can sign up and become a Patreon member. I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. Goodbye.